Okay, so welcome back to Barmore Tags on Quick Review Unboxing. So it's been a while that I'm not doing this because of uh, setup for internet cafes and networking stuff. And yes, I can't find time to do this. So I'm back and just to show you guys the overclocking of the H170 Pro 4 with this i5-6400. So since I already posted online or in my Facebook that uh, it's possible to overclock this and a lot of you guys are asking me how is it done. So actually it's just very very easy steps. So for beginners this is really very very easy for you to follow. So I will just be doing this as fast as possible. So just go to the bias of the ASRock. So if you got this ASRock board or H170 Pro 4 or any kind of ASRock that have this uh, base clock generator features then just go to the BIOS, then hit F6 to advanced mode, go to OC Tweaker and you can find in there the uh, CPU. So by default, when you go to CPU configuration, you can see in there that it's set on auto or it's 100 megahertz that's showing up 2.7 gigahertz, the stock clock speed of i5-6400. So what we'll be doing in here is it will depend on the cooler that you are using. So I'm using Cooler Master V8 GDS and I'm just hitting 31 degrees with this 4 gigahertz clock speed. So I hit directly to 150 megahertz because it's already tested. But if you haven't tried it yet, then try to go down to 110, then restart your PC, check the uh, temperature, then if it can or it still uh, your cooler can still manage it, then hit 120 until you will reach uh, at least you got 140 to 150 frequency but for me the safest is 150 i cannot hit 160 because it's a bit um unstable i tried to go up to 4.4 gigahertz but the uh cpu is um a bit unstable blue screens and sometimes it hangs so maybe it's my cooler that can't handle the temperature all right so let's go and let's proceed on the desktop and let us see if it's really hitting 4 gigahertz all right so please bear with me because my desktop is a bit messy and yes let's go to the hw monitor and then cpu z and then the benchmarking tool that i have in here it's the cinebench so let us check if it's really running at 4 gigahertz all right so that's it Okay, so as you can see, it's now running at 4051 megahertz to 4047 megahertz. And uh, yes, the uh, CPU Z is also running at 4051.32 megahertz. Okay, so as you can see in there, the, uh, the 4051. And then for the Cinebench, I got 665 frequency. Actually, the highest uh, score that I got, I'm sorry, it's a score. I got from Cinebench is 669 with the Hyper uh, B150 Pro 4 Hyper. Alright, so that's it guys. And yes, you can manage to overclock non-K processors with H170 motherboards. Just be sure to check if it comes with this base clock um, generator or clock generator like the Astrock motherboards. Just be sure to check your coolers before you overclock them.